Um, I, I mentioned I mentioned them briefly. Uh, I explored the Olmec mystery uh, in considerable depth. It's considered to be the earliest high culture of Central America. Everybody's heard about the Aztec. For over 3,000 years, the Olmec glyphs have been silent. But when scientists gave them to a quantum AI, it translated words we were never meant to hear. And one phrase left researchers shaken. This is the Cascajal block. 62 mysterious symbols carved in stone by America's first civilization. The Olmecs dominated Mexico before the Maya, before the Aztecs. They built colossal heads weighing 15 tons. They created the first writing system in the New World, but nobody could read it until now. MIT's artificial intelligence already cracked Ugaritic in hours, a language dead for 3,000 years. Google's AI decoded Linear B, but the Olmec script was different, harder, completely isolated. Then quantum computing changed everything. Recent reports suggest that when researchers fed these ancient symbols into a quantum-powered AI system, something extraordinary happened. The machine didn't just find patterns, it found words, complete sentences. And buried within this ritual text from 900 BCE, it discovered something that shouldn't exist a message from something that claimed it wasn't human. What happens when the world's most advanced machine decodes the earliest writing in the Americas? The answer is about to rewrite history itself. But first, you need to understand what the Olmecs left behind. Here's what reportedly happened when researchers fed the Cascajal block into their quantum AI system. The machine analyzed every symbol, every position, every repetition. Within hours, it began outputting something no human had seen before. Not random guesses, complete phrases in what appeared to be proto mixezoquian the ancient language family spoken in this region. The first decoded segments seemed straightforward. Ritual offerings? The AI identified symbols for maize, jade, fish. Classic Mesoamerican ceremonial items exactly what archaeologists expected from a 900 BCE religious text. But then something changed. The AI flagged a sequence of glyphs that broke every pattern. Where previous segments described offerings being given, these symbols suggested something was responding, accepting, speaking back. The alleged translation sent chills through the research team. The maze is received. The jade gleams in my sight. I accept this blood. Not we offer or the priest gives. The text claimed something was answering. Dr. Stephen Houston from Brown University had predicted this years ago. He suspected some Olmec glyphs might represent divine voices, God speaking through human scribes. But seeing it decoded by A, I was earth shattering. Think about this. For centuries, we could only guess what these glyphs meant. Now, a machine tells us. The Olmecs weren't just carving pictures. They were recording rituals and, possibly, letting their gods speak through stone. The quantum computer had apparently cracked something unprecedented. The earliest recorded divine communication in the Americas. A conversation between mortals and deities, preserved in serpentine rock for three millennia. But this was just the beginning. The AI found patterns suggesting the voice shifts throughout the text. Human priest to divine entity. Back and forth like reading both sides of humanity's oldest prayer. If you want more breakthroughs like this, hit that subscribe button. It helps us keep uncovering history's biggest mysteries. Because what the AI decoded next reveals why the Olmecs chose this particular ritual and why modern scientists are calling it terrifying. New tech beyond translation. But the quantum AI breakthrough is just the beginning. Right now, Archaeologists are deploying cutting-edge technology across the Olmec heartlands that could revolutionize everything we know. LiDAR scanning has already transformed Maya archaeology. Laser pulses penetrate jungle canopy to reveal hidden cities. Teams are now mapping the Olmec regions of Veracruz and Tabasco. Early scans suggest massive ceremonial complexes buried under centuries of vegetation, places where these glyphs might have been used in elaborate rituals. Meanwhile, museums worldwide are sitting on treasure troves they don't even know they have. Advanced imaging technology is revealing secrets hidden in plain sight. X-ray fluorescence shows pigment traces on Olmec Celts and figurines, red hematite, cinnabar mercury. These weren't just carved symbols. 
They were painted, activated, made sacred through color. 3 Dine Tomography is going deeper, scanning beneath erosion layers on artifacts stored for decades. Some researchers believe dozens of microglyphs are waiting to be discovered, hidden engravings that time and weather obscured. But here's where it gets even stranger. The A. I noticed patterns humans never did. Scientists at Stanford are building AI pipelines that could scan thousands of museum pieces remotely. Upload a photo, get instant glyph recognition, and potential translation. Within months, we could have the largest Olmec text database in history. Imagine if each symbol didn't just mean one thing, but three. Maze wasn't just corn, it was a calendar day. And it was also the name of a god. That's what quantum AI hinted at. Multi-layer meanings our brains aren't wired to spot. This is quantum linguistic compression in action. Where classical computers see one meaning, quantum systems detect multiple meanings existing simultaneously. Like Schrodinger's cat, but for ancient languages. The implications are staggering. The AI's astonishing patterns. The quantum AI didn't just translate words. It discovered something far more sophisticated than anyone expected. That recurring insect glyph that puzzled Stephen Houston for years? The AI suggests it's not an insect at all. It functions like ancient punctuation, a grammatical marker showing when the speaker changes. Human voice to divine voice. Back and forth. But the patterns run deeper. The AI detected that glyph sequences align with astronomical cycles, the Venus calendar, May's harvest seasons. The Olmecs weren't just recording rituals, they were encoding cosmic time into their writing system. This matches what we know about Olmec sites. San Lorenzo aligns with celestial bodies. La Vanta points to specific star risings. Their entire civilization was synchronized with the heavens. The AI found mathematical precision hidden in seemingly random symbol arrangements. Every 13th glyph relates to calendar calculation. Every seventh symbol references divine transformation. Yes, when they gave quantum AI the Olmec glyphs, the translation didn't just surprise scholars, it shook them because the voice wasn't entirely human. Parts of the text deliberately shift perspective. The priest describes preparing offerings, then suddenly, the text speaks from the deity's viewpoint. I receive the maze. I taste the blood. Back and forth like an ancient conversation. This isn't poetry. It's shamanic possession recorded in stone. And this is where you, the viewer, come in. What do you think? Was this really a god's voice recorded in stone? Or just ritual poetry? Drop your thoughts in the comments before we reveal the next twist. Because what the AI decoded about blood sacrifice and divine transformation explains why this discovery terrifies modern researchers. This isn't just about one ancient text. We're looking at the birth of something unprecedented. If confirmed, this could be the earliest American scripture, the Olmec equivalent of ancient religious texts, but created 900 years before the Maya Hadases, 1,500 years before Aztec poetry. The implications stretch far beyond archaeology. Quantum AI systems are already being trained to reconstruct phonetic sounds from written languages, not just meaning actual pronunciation. Imagine hearing an Olmec priest chant the exact words carved on the Cascajal block, in the original language, with the original rhythm and tone. That's not science fiction. Teams at Cambridge are working on phonetic reconstruction algorithms right now. They've already recreated sounds from dead European languages. Olmec could be next. This discovery is restoring lost voices to humanity. For three millennia, entire civilizations have been silent. Now, quantum computing is bringing them back to life. But here's what makes this discovery truly earth-shattering. The Cascajal block might not be unique. Olmec symbols appear on dozens of artifacts across Mexico. Carved celts, pottery fragments, stone monuments. Most have never been systematically analyzed, never fed into AI systems, never decoded. And if this is only the first text, what happens when thousands more are scanned? Think about it. We may soon have Olmec prayers, Olmec laws, even Olmec myths read aloud in their original tongue. That's not archaeology anymore. That's time travel. The quantum AI revolution is just beginning and the Olmecs might be our first stop on a journey through lost civilizations. 
But to understand why this matters, you need to know who the Olmecs really were. The Olmecs ruled Mexico's Gulf Coast from 1200 to 400 BCE, before the Maya built their pyramids, before the Aztecs dreamed of Tenochtitlan, they carved colossal heads weighing 15 tons, created sophisticated art, built complex drainage systems. They were America's first great civilization, and they influenced everyone who came after. The Cascajal block was discovered in 2006 by road workers in Veracruz. 62 mysterious symbols carved in horizontal rows on a serpentine slab. Unlike any other ancient American writing system, most Mesoamerican scripts use vertical columns. Maya glyphs flow downward. Zapotec inscriptions stack vertically. But Olmec glyphs run sideways, left to right, like reading a book. When archaeologist Stephen Houston first examined the block, he knew it was revolutionary. If this can be decoded, it would link the Olmec civilization to literacy, he said. But scholarly debate erupted immediately. Was this really writing or just ritual symbols? Some experts like Katerina Magni believed it recorded ceremony, religious initiation, sacred ritual. She even compiled a provisional Olmec dictionary in 2014. Others disagreed. David Fradel and Kent Riley argued it might be a catalog, a list of ritual objects, sacred bundles used in ceremonies. Authentication took years. The block's discovery lacked proper archaeological context, found in debris, no clear dating. But comprehensive analysis in 2019 settled the debate. Microscopic tool marks matched Olmec techniques. Chemical composition confirmed ancient origin. Weathering patterns proved genuine age. The Cascajal block was real, authentic, and genuinely ancient. Now, quantum AI suggests it's something more, not just America's oldest writing system, but possibly its first recorded divine conversation. And this revelation is about to change everything we thought we knew about ancient America. So, here we are, standing at the edge of a revolution. Quantum AI decoding Olmec glyphs isn't science fiction anymore. It's happening, right now in laboratories where ancient stone meets cutting-edge technology. The reported translation suggests something extraordinary. The Olmecs weren't just carving pictures, they were recording rituals, conversations with gods, sacred ceremonies where human voices merge with divine responses. This could be the first sacred text in the Americas, predating Maya codices by centuries, earlier than Aztec poetry by over a millennium. But here's what gives me chills. The patterns the AI found suggest this isn't random. The voice shifts are deliberate, calculated. The Olmecs knew exactly what they were doing when they carved those symbols. They were creating a bridge between worlds, human and divine, mortal and eternal. For 3,000 years, the Olmecs have been silent. Their colossal heads stared mutely across Mexican jungles. Their art spoke only in images. Their civilization remained voiceless. But quantum computing is changing that symbol by symbol, word by word, voice by voice. For the first time in 3,000 years, the Olmecs may be speaking again, and the voice we hear is not entirely human. This is just the beginning. The Cascajal block is one artifact. Dozens more wait in museums worldwide. Thousands of Olmec symbols remain unanalyzed, untranslated, unheard. When quantum AI systems scan them all, we won't just be reading ancient history, we'll be listening to it, hearing the actual words of America's first civilization. The age of silent archaeology is ending. The age of digital necromancy has begun. If you enjoyed this journey into humanity's hidden past, hit subscribe and join us as we explore the next ancient mystery waiting to be unlocked. Because trust me, this is only the beginning of what quantum AI will reveal about our forgotten history.